Et salut à toutes et tous, on se retrouve pour ce troisième épisode, puisque j'avais fait un petit quiz, une petite question, un petit sondage, voilà, <rire> je vais y arriver, sur Instagram. Et euh, donc il se trouve que euh, les gens voulaient sur Insta que je continue la série, et j'avais déjà préparé l'épisode 2, donc euh, bah, l'épisode 2 est déjà dispo. De toute façon, si vous voyez cet épisode, c'est que c'est le troisième, donc on a déjà vu les deux premiers en principe. Donc voilà. Alors on va reprendre, tranquillou, alors oui je vais jouer au stick, pas au stick justement, alors je vais éviter de regarder le retour de stream, <rire> et je vais me diriger directement vers la suite des aventures. Level 3 Ça commence bien. Euh... Ah ça c'est vraiment pratique. C'est Patrick. Et ça on n'est pas encore assez fort pour taper dessus, c'est ça Ok. Il y a une petite sortie en bas, mais euh, j'ai envie d'aller voir là. There, right in front of me, was the sick bay. Walking through that door changed everything forever. Je vais quand même juste relever un peu la cam au final. Je pense que la mettre par là, ça sera pas trop déconnant. Le, le, la souris, c'est chez vous. <rire> It's the prisoner that hit us. <laughs> It turned out that all the guards I knocked out were brought to the sick bay. And some were still there. Freeze! Don't move or I'll shoot! Okay, I surrender. The woman that was aiming at me was the doctor. She, of course, was very pissed off because of the copious amount of work I caused. What a face! What a body. What a beauty. <laughs> This girl was smoking hot. And she had a gun aimed straight at my head. At that distance, I couldn't do anything to neutralize her. I had to improvise. I needed something that would cause a non-lethal wound, like a sharp piece of metal. But I had to grab it without making a single step. It wasn't wise to use weapons there. Mm -hmm. If I moved, the doctor would have shot me. I had to use anything I had on me that was sharp without moving okay. a muscle. Uh... Have you ever had a gun pointed at you? Your adrenaline skyrockets. You react on instinct. Everything happened so fast that the doctor had no time to react. In one swift movement, I took the wire, looked deep within the doctor's eyes, and... I stuck it in my thigh. What the hell did you just do? I just hurt myself. Are you nuts or what? Now you can't shoot me. What do you mean? You just made it easier for me. According to the degree on your wall, you're a doctor. The Hippocratic Oath you took as a doctor forces you to aid your patients and also forces you to cause patients no harm. I've been injured in a sick bay. You're sick bay. Therefore, I'm now your patient. And I'm forced to assist you. You bastard! I've been called that many times. By the way, I'm bleeding. Fine. I'll heal you. Then you get the hell out of here. It's done. It's no longer bleeding. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. By the way... 
<laughs> Just to mow them. That's for all the extra hours. I'm working because of you. It's just as well that you didn't kill anyone. Kill someone? Me? Do I look like an assassin? After arguing for a <laughs> while, the doctor and I reached an understanding. I would not kill anyone, and she would help me escape. You'll find my access card in my jacket. There are first aid kits in the closet. Take some. If you shoot someone, use them so they don't bleed to death. Oh, nice. My rack! You couldn't just take the card from the pocket. It's kill or be killed. Oh, putain, on peut aller dans le plan, ça Ah, ouais, d'accord, je peux max. Est-ce que je peux casser ce truc Watch out! Most instruments don't respond well to punches. Watch out! Most instruments ouais, don't non. respond well to punches. My sight's still fuzzy. Though. That's expected. You got hit pretty hard. But it looks like your eyes will recover. Je peux pas me lâcher. Watch out! Most instruments don't respond well to punches. Ouais, ouais, non, mais j'ai compris. Euh, du coup, c'est quoi le le tout 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 le défi? Soigner Vingard. Does it hurt? Yes. Éventuellement, je sais pas si ça fait ça. More morphine. I've already given you too much. I can't give you any more. Sorry. How's the head? Still hurts. Everything is blurry. That bastard hits hard. Rest some more. I'll check back soon. Ouais, non, bon, bref. Allez, let's go. If I were an assassin and didn't promise the doctor I wouldn't murder anyone. So if I shot someone, I had to use a first aid kit to heal them before they bled to death. So you really didn't kill anyone? Of course not. I'm not an assassin. The gun I found was empty, but it had a 10 bullet magazine. So I loaded it up with any bullets I found. Are you there? Here I am, Robert. Hi, friend. How's that escape going? Still alive and free. So far. Hey, how did they catch you? I was in the outskirts of Katsawa, taking some pictures of a bunch of military trucks. There was too much security. They were obviously hiding something. I couldn't clearly see what they were loading, so I got closer. Turns out, I got too close. Next thing you know, I was surrounded by a bunch of pricks aiming rifles at my head. Did you at least manage to see what they were loading? Sure did, but I was disappointed. What did you see? Concrete. <laughs> concrete? Are you kidding? Two huge rectangular concrete blocks. Each could barely fit into a truck. You were imprisoned for a piece of concrete? Fuck, man. I'd be disappointed too. Too much security for something so mundane. But enough about me. You should get back to your escape, my friend. Ils sont sérieux. C'est tellement barré comme truc. Ah oh merde, ça fait partie du loup. Euh, n'empêche, il y a une porte là. Je failli ne pas la voir. Seigneur des balles. Avoir 90 balles ou plus. Ok.
Jesse Fox, over. This is the doctor, over. What? Doctor? But how? How is the escape going? Just fine. Trying to find a way out of this building. Well, my access card won't work. It's only clearance level two. Leaving the building requires level three clearance. Where would I find that? The officers would have them. Their offices are on the third floor. Wow. Thanks for the help. I didn't know you cared about me. What I care about is that you leave ASAP so I stop getting so many patients. By the way, what's your name? My name is Doctor, over and out. <laughs> I'm the Doctor. Formidable, merveilleux. Ok. Ah, document. Rien dans la bibliothèque. Rien non plus. Before leaving the office, I called Harris to let him know that I found the files. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found more documents. They look like... a list of coordinates. Coordinates? Of what? This document is encoded as well. I don't know what the coordinates are for. Uh, they could be strike targets. Those bastards could be planning to attack us. Je les avais complètement zappés. Sergeant Roscoe's security card didn't open the door. Neither did the one from the doctor. So I had to search for someone who would lend it. En fait, ce que j'ai pris pour le truc là-bas, c'est la. Ok, c'est l'ascenseur en fait, je suppose, ce que j'ai vu. Du chemin à refaire quand même. Euh... 
Mais bon, vu qu'on a pris une réseau. Ouais. Ouais, c'est la sens. Euh... Ça c'est le deuxième. Mais bon, je sais pas on a le troisième. Colonel. Fox, do you have what you need to leave? Not yet, Colonel. But a contact told me where to find an access card. A contact? Yes, a doctor. A doctor? Give me a description. She is smoking hot. Oh, for God's sake, control your hormones, son. <laughs> We're in the middle of a very serious operation. Listen, Colonel, make no mistake. I'm not in any operation of yours. Nor am I any of your soldiers. I'm only trying to escape from this damn place. Damn it, Jess, don't you realize this is an escape, son? You must realize Operation Jericho could end up with countless casualties. And it's your moral duty as a citizen to prevent it. Prevent it? Me? Is that a joke? Yes, you! Search every damn office in that building. For any information you can prevent that damn plan. Over and out. Donc on va bien fouiller le deuxième étage. Ah oh, la vache. Euh... Il y a un garde qui est. Direct au troisième. <rire> ok, il faut une carte de niveau 3, c'est ça Ouais, 3. Thermal sensor. Those thermal sensors had a detection angle of 90 degrees. And would sense the heat of my body, like the Predator. They obviously wouldn't detect through the tall brown boxes in the facility. So I could hide from them like how I've been sneaking around the guards. But the containers weren't everywhere. Any wide open areas were a problem. That's when I thought to call the Colonel, where I'd learn a way to trick the sensors. Thermal sensor. Those thermal. Descendre au deuxième, tant pis, on va se battre avec le drone. On va essayer. C'est pas gagné. Oh, <rire> Oh, 
sera fort. Ah putain. Eh, c'est chaud, en frappant. Euh... <rire> Faut éviter les balles avec le la peau, oui. Mais euh... Non mais il faut une carte de niveau 3 partout quoi, mais c'est quoi c'est quand même Ça fait très euh... FF7 aussi ça. Ah, j'ai fait le kekos, putain. En fait, est-ce que je l'ai le trophée Ouais. Quand même. Putain. Stop tirer dans le vent, quoi. Concentration est maximale. Putain. Pour toi, touche encore de mieux. Et du coup, voilà, j'ai utilisé un kit alors que je voulais utiliser le bandage. I noticed a few abandoned crates that were thirsty for some punch. They seemed easy to reach. That is, until the containers started to drop. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. I noticed a few abandoned. Oh, 
vais aller les chercher. Hein. Ok, euh, très bien. Je, je vois le jeu. Je vois le jeu. I noticed a few abandoned crates that. Mais j'ai fait roulade, putain. Euh... <rire> jeu de merde. Noticed a few Just a few abandoned crates that were thirsty. Noticed a few abandoned crates that were third. I noticed a few of Defeated. C'est un chien. This is Jesse Fox. Over. Doctor here. Hey Jesse, I need a small favor. Uh, favor? Of course. The guards you injured on the first floor just keep coming in. Can you find a less... vicious way to handle them? Not that I care, per se, but I'm getting a little overwhelmed here. Oh. Sorry, Doc. You can count on me. You're drooling. Uh... <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. 
Your voice was so damn sexy. Is my voice not feminine enough for you? Well, it's girly, of course, but... Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Dommage que la terre. Mourrez en manipulant des objets dans votre inventaire. Ok. Ouais. Je sais pas si j'ai vraiment envie de le faire. little room that seemed to be stocked with a lot of chemicals. I could brew up some chloroform to put the guards to sleep and score points with the doctor. Hold on, you have expertise in chemistry? Chemistry's not that hard. You just have to mix the ingredients correctly. <laughs> Sodium. Oh. oh putain, ils sont pas. <rire> Mais quelle bande de sac à merde! Before leaving, I mixed the elements to create chloroform. Je vais combiner. Le... Déjà avec du sodium. <rire> C'est cette débile. Mais d'où euh, de l'eau et du sodium, ça fait ça quoi. It wasn't wise to use weapons oui, non, mais c'était pas ce que je voulais faire. Je vais quand même tout récupérer. On sait jamais. Peut-être que plus tard, ça va servir. listening to music. It was the perfect chance to test out the chloroform. I just needed to sneak up and put him to sleep. I wonder what this smells like. What this smells like? Hold on, are you telling me that you sniffed the chloroform? <laughs> that you yourself <laughs> made for the purpose of knocking people out? Yes. Why didn't you douse a handkerchief and cover the victim's face, like how everyone does? My mind was cloudy at the time, maybe due to the few <laughs> chemicals. As for pouring the chloroform on a handkerchief, I figured it out later. It smells weird. Very, very <laughs> weird. Oh le pire. Doctor, <laughs> what's the meaning of this? Isn't it obvious? You're my prisoner. What? Untie me. Piggy <laughs> did oh, <laughs> Still want me to untie you? Don't untie me. As you wish. Oh, doctor. Oh, doctor. Hey, Mike. This guy's talking in his sleep. He's asking for a doctor. Must be a nightmare about a previous injury. Soldiers with PTSD get him all the time. <laughs> He must have been through some shit, poor bastard. I don't know, Mike. Look down. What the fuck? <laughs> He's harder than whiskey. <laughs> Well, He's whatever. Gonna make it. We're close to the cells. Let's get him locked up. Fuck Mike. He's waking up. 
C'est n'importe quoi Mais est-ce que par hasard ça m'aurait donné... Ah Ah non, on dormait 20 gardes. Ah ouais, non, je pensais que... D'être endormi, ils m'auraient donné un succès. Euh... On a la combinaison thermique. Donc en principe, on pourrait aller... Je sais pas si les ennemis ont repopé. On avait fait le tour là du coup c'était on s'est endormi du coup là, je pense pas je préfère vérifier en hein, ça se trouve je sais que la carte numéro 3 est pour là mais il ah, n'y bah, a plus les containers ils ont disparu par magie better than to punch while wearing the suit. It was delicate and could tear. Bad news, no punches while wearing the suit. Good news, scoring more points with the doctor. a third document. Good job, son. What's on it? Let me take a look at it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What was your name? Colonel Alan Harris. Why do you ask? Because your name is written here. Don't pull my leg, son. I'm serious, Colonel. It's right here. Bon, 
je fais pour voir. Il y avait les WC. Euh... Ce côté-là. Oh la vache. Euh... Ouais. Ouais, ouais, ouais. J'arrive pas à voir où je suis, mais. Ouais. Ça là. Et puis on va mettre. Fox here. Over. What is it, Fox? I'm on the third floor. This is where the offices should be. Search for more files. We need more intel about the attack. That's not going to be easy. In the middle of the night, those offices should be empty. Haven't seen anyone yet, but there's a thermal sensor. I can't proceed without setting. <laughs> In the next corridor, I ran into two detectors. Je sais pas ce que c'était les autres trucs donc bon. Et il me laisse pas choisir. Putain mais pourquoi j'ai enfilé la combinaison quoi Ah ouf. Moi, je suis qui a craqué. Ce qui est formidable c'est que tu peux utiliser aucune arme. Trois balles, je suis là encore. J'arrive pas à voir comment je peux passer en fait. Est-ce que ça fait quelque chose Oh non, mais t'es pas sérieux Et 
du genre, il fallait savoir qu'il y a des détecteurs. C'est n'importe quoi. Bon, ce coup-ci. Me neither. My name's Mike. And you are? I'm Mike. Maintenance. I had the day off today, but our damn officer kept me here the whole night fixing stuff. What an asshole. I'm gonna kick his ass so hard, he'll drop his level 3 access card and be stuck in this building. Where's his office? Really? Wow! It's right behind you. That's the door. The one with the lasers. Yep. Let me guess. Deadly lasers. Yep. To celebrate you on contact. Good. Well, maybe another time then. Hold on. If we generate a small power surge in the right circuit, those lasers will shut down. Great. Let's do it. I'll need at least 12 batteries. We keep them in the boxes on this floor. You get the batteries. I'll prepare the surge. Je pense que j'en ai que deux, trois. casser les caisses sans me faire choper par euh, par les gardes Tellement. Et il peut pas couper les. Et tu peux pas couper les. Les machins là. une question. Non, ça n'a pas été fait. Ça ne sert à rien. Operation Jericho was quite revealing. It had a map of the Cantor province with exact coordinates, an ambush plan, and a picture of the colonel with his name under it. 
Apparently their plan was to kidnap the Colonel without leaving a trace. The second file of Operation Jericho was a compendium of coded numbers. It also had a map, so those numbers could be the coordinates of attack routes, or potentially the attack targets themselves. The first file was about an attack plan. Its code name was Operation Jericho. I couldn't find many details because it was encoded. But anyone could understand a chart about casualties. Its lines went all the way to the top. C'est très bien, ça ira mieux. Je sais vraiment pas comment je vais récupérer ces 12 putains de piles. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I'm on the third floor. This is where the offices should be. Search for more files. We need more intel about the attack. That's not going to be easy. In the middle of the night, those offices should be empty. Haven't seen anyone yet, but there's a thermal sensor. I can't proceed without setting it off. Do you have any ideas? In the army, we use insulating suits to conceal our body temperatures. Okay, on dit pas plus que ce que je sais. Est-ce que les autres? Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Hey, how did they catch you? I was in the outskirts of Katsawa, taking some. Jesse here. Over. Il y a rien pour désactiver ces putains de machins.
12. Parfait. Laborieux quand même, tout ça. Hey Mike, here are the batteries. Good, hand them over. I'm ready here. Just gotta connect them to this wire and. <laughs> Lasers deactivated. Nope. Shock my hands. Let's try this again. Let's try this wire instead. Whoo! Bye, lasers. It's gonna take a while to fix them, but no regrets. Totally worth it. Thanks, Mike. I owe you one. Don't sweat it, Mike. We're even. <laughs> I was finally in front of the office door. On the other side, I could hear someone talking on the phone. Yes? I see. Are you sure about that? Damn! That's high treason! No, that won't be necessary. I'll deal with it personally. was the officer with the access card I needed. But he was leaving through the other door, and the card had to be on him. What was he talking about? Who was the traitor? It wasn't long before I found out my answers. Hey Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. It looks like you're in some big shit, pal. I've been listening to some radio comms and... Does the doctor sound familiar to you? Fuck yes. Why? Because I heard that someone is going to arrest him for treason. Damn it. I have to stop them. Yeah, yeah, be careful, Fox. Don't stuff. panic. Yeah. This shot could be a trap. Robert's call made my head spin. I left the office as fast as I could. It took me less than two minutes to reach the sick bay. <laughs> I shot a guard. I couldn't let him die. I promised it to the doctor. I had to heal him before bleeding to death. So I got close, and I used one of my first aid kits. First aid kits. Luckily, the cabinet in the sick bay was full of them. Thank <laughs> you. 
There they were. Robert was right. Those bastards were going to arrest their own doctor. Sons of bitches. I wasn't going to let it happen. Hey. it to the doctor. I had to heal him before bl Je sais, je suis juste pas précis. Concentration. First aid kits. Luckily, the cabinet in the sick bay was full of them. Mais en même temps, c'était pas censé l'utiliser sur moi tout à l'heure. C'était pas censé l'utiliser sur moi. Oui, je sais. Non mais voilà. Hein L'imprécision de ran out of first aid kits. plus précis, je dirais pas. C'est pas le cas. Vu que je peux pas soigner les, les gardes parce que ils sont trop proches. Euh... 
ça, ça, ça vient comme si c'était moi qui les consommais. Donc forcément. Oui, je sais, j'ai shooté un gars. C'est pas la peine, de toute façon. C'est encore foiré. Bon. On va se laisser là pour cette vidéo-là. Hein, et on va reprendre ça dans la suivante. Allez, à ciao, à plus